One of the more common views used in 2D drawings is the section view. Creating a section view in Inventor is straightforward. Once the view is in place, I use the section view icon here. Next, I just have to tell Inventor which view to draw a section line through. When I do, my cursor changes, and I'm prompted to enter the endpoints of the section line. This means I simply need to draw a line indicating where I would like to section the drawing view. Now, in this case, I would like to create a section view that cuts through the center of the part. However, notice as I move the cursor near the middle, I'm not getting any feedback. At this point, if I draw the section line, there's no way to know if it's cutting through the center. There's actually one step I need to do before drawing the section. I need to wake up the drawing's view geometry to be used as a reference. In this case, if I hover my cursor for a second over the circle, notice the geometry is activated and I see inference lines to the center of the circle. This process works for any other geometry as well in a drawing view. Simply hover over a line or point or any other geometry to wake it up and infer to it for aligning a section view. Now, I just sketch a line through the view that I wish to section. Once the line is sketched, just right-click and select Continue. As soon as I do, a preview of the section view will appear. As you move the pointer, notice that the view arrow changes direction as you move it from one side to the other. In the dialog box, you have control over some options, such as the view identifier, the scale, the appearance style, and even the section depth. To complete the view, you either click OK, or simply click the left mouse button on the drawing sheet to drop it in place. Once the section view has been created, you can move it, but it will remain aligned to the view it was generated from.